Uh, well, firstly, I'd like to extend my sympathies to the Chilean people um, for their tragic loss. Um, how BIFSI got involved with this to begin with was, like most people, we were monitoring the regional press and the international press. That's where we picked it up first. Um, I then immediately spoke to our defence attaché based in Santiago and asked him what was going on and he quick, very quickly confirmed that CM-130 had been lost and at that point um, it was a race against time to get as many assets as we could brought to readiness. Um, I then offered those to the Chilean authorities to assist with the search. That was uh, accepted and, and we then started moving assets into the area. Um, the most important one at that particular time was the A400 um, because it got there quickly and then MV Faros from South Georgia government was hugely important. That was the nearest naval vessel that we had in the area um, and we've now got HMS Scott has arrived on the scene and assisting as well. Um, like any search uh, of this nature it was, um, it was challenging. Um, it's very difficult to judge um, the rate of drift um, of debris from the aircraft and also the actual location of the aircraft going down um, wasn't known exactly uh, but uh, under the guidance of the Chileans we um, commenced a box search and later on the RAF A400 uh, done a flyby of the area and relayed uh, information relative to the position of um, debris raft that it seen from the air and uh, we proceeded to those areas and um, commenced a box search and pretty soon we started picking up debris, um, launched our rib um, so the guys uh, were picking up the debris from the sea and in turn on the ship here uh, we were actually picking up over the side of the ship as well. Well some of the crew were actually uh, due to go on leave um, when, we, uh, when we were due to arrive in Stanley um, and so that was cut short and uh, they were all happy to have the opportunity to um, continue down with us and assist in the search. Uh, but the crew responded absolutely magnificently, um, all hands to the pump, so to say, uh, the engineering department as well for assisting us. And I couldn't actually ask for better. Everyone put in 100% and probably more. Clearly, <coughs> in any search and rescue operation, it's really important that the region come together. This is a humanitarian issue, it's one where we seek to help one another and for us, given that we were given a specific request because of a need for sea search and with a very capable vessel, it was the right thing to do. It's the case in any air accident investigation that the collection of wreckage is important to try and understand what happened and as a consequence of that potentially be able to prevent similar accidents in the future. More importantly and on a humanitarian perspective if you are able to bring certainty to the friends and families who are waiting for news clearly we will do our very best to assist in that regard.